Hello guys, my name is Amit. Today we are going to talk about reorganized string problem which is present on lead code problem number 767. I have tried solving it using hash table and priority queue. So I'll just explain how uh, the things worked and how uh, the problem can be solved. Okay, so okay. So if we go through the problem, it's straightforward that given a string check if letters can be arranged so that two characters that are adjacent to each other are same or not. So for example, if two characters in string A, B, A, A, B are same, then we have to output A, B, A. Um, that is the two characters should not be same in the output. If it is not possible, then we have to return an empty string. For example, A, A, triple A, B. So in this case, if we place b between two a's then still last two a's would be adjacent and then in that case we have written an empty string s will contain the lowercase letters and have length of range from 1 to 500 so s can contain any letters that is a b c d up to z but all lowercase uh, and up to 500 characters <coughs> so uh, so i so let's consider this um, I have uh, created a github page for the solution so let's consider this string this is this has five A's in it one two three four five two C's and three B's in it so uh, basically what approach uh, hash table plus parity queue approach does is that uh, it will first count the number of elements using the hash table so for example I have used an ordered map from C++ with key as the character and value as a count. So the hash table would be created something like this that A is having count of 5, C is having 2, B is having 3. And since it, it's a hash table, it will have a unique keys, an ordered map, it, it will have a unique keys. Then from the hash table, we have to create a priority queue. In priority queue, we have to do reverse. That is the first element key will be the count and value will be the char. So since we know the priority queue is uh, balanced binary tree where we I'm taking a max heap where the top is the key would be maximum in the max heap. So the priority queue will be uh, something like this inside the inside uh, memory. But for uh, understanding I have written it something like this that are at the front of the queue it will be 5a then it will be 3 and then it will be 2c. So what next we have to do is we have to pop the uh, topmost element. So now uh, the topmost element in the queue is 5a and the key, the topmost key is 5. So uh, we have to just pop the top and the second top. So it will be 3. So now we have to just uh, create a string using the second element of the popped elements. So that is the top pop element is 5a. I have we have to create a string using a first character and b using second character and then we have to reduce the count of first and first of p1 p2 by 1 so count will be something like this that is it will be 4a and p2 will be 2b and if count that is the the first element of the priority queue is still greater than 1 that is 4 is greater than 1 2 is greater than 1 so in that case we have to push again on the queue so now in this case q will become something like this 2 this is 4a 2c and 2b so how the complexity goes in this case i'll we'll just discuss this later and so on we have to go do this again and again until the queue becomes empty i'll come back to this complexity calculations later but let's just see the code quickly so in code i have passed the string uh, to the object uh, using s so now the string comes here, I have taken an unordered map um, I have taken a priority queue pq. So I have created uh, the unordered map count using this for loop. So after this step, I'll have something like this, that is uh, this one here, a5, c2, b3, because we know, uh, because first I'm taking key as character, second uh, integer as uh, value. Now I have just uh, created a priority queue from this on order map so in this case uh, uh, I have taken the second element of the on order map as 
as the first element to be pushed on the queue and first as second so now in this case i have taken two elements top one top two i if so output is my output string here which i'm creating i have just uh, pushed the first and second that is top one second and top two second those are the characters because in priority queue the key is integer and char value is character then i have just decremented uh, the first uh, element that is five and three in this case as we have just taken five and three so now five and three becomes four and two so they are still greater than one so i'll just push uh, again on the queue and this process is repeated until the end so this is very simple let me just discuss about the complexity so complexity for creating a hash table will be on because we have to go straight from element 0 to element n minus 1 in uh, the string and then for creating a priority queue out of a hash table the priority the complexity will be log n because we know the heap that is the max heap is cre is a balanced binary tree and to create a max heap nodes are inserted in level order traversal so it will be o1 insertion is o1 but again since it's a balanced binary tree balance will take log n time so this this becomes log n now the third uh, thing that we are removing uh, the top of the queue which is always o1 then we are reinserting it which would be log n again uh, because on the reinserting we have to again rebalance it and balancing takes log n time so there are two cases out of here for the rebalance reinsert case so first case is if all elements are unique that is we have let's suppose all a till z all 111 elements so in that case we do not have to reinsert popping will be o1 time because reinsert only happens if its uh, first element is greater than one uh, so in that case this will not apply but let's consider a case where we have equal number of elements let's suppose five a's and five b's so in this case after the first pop there will be four a and four b and we have to do n by two insertions again so complexity will be o n which is for creating of the hash table plus multiply plus n by two multiplied by o log n so this is n by two insertions considering this worst case and balancing is log n so i have just uh, i'll just submit the code here thanks for watching have a good day